Hi everyone, Gretchen Mullen-Savitsky, your college president here at NHTA Concord's Community College. Today I'm going to frame our discussion in our four pillars for our strategic plan. So I'm going to start with the student success pillar. And I want to throw a shout out there to Tracy Lesser and Ray Mello Andrews for their work on the development of the online digital exhibition of student work to house our students' capstone projects. I think that's a wonderful uh, way to capture those projects, for the students to be able to showcase them to future employers, for us to showcase them to future students. Um, we can show the relevancy of our programs, of our discipline. I think it's, I think it's a great, great um, strategy to do that, and I want to thank them so much for that. Second thing is I'm very excited about the works of Camels. Uh, this is work that's being led by Trish Dion. She's working at, uh, she's working at putting together a um, kind of a think tank group to look at the best practices and some of the research on moving the needle for uh, getting students who are in the classroom, who are participating in the classroom, but they're not doing their homework. So how do we move the needle for that? So please join her and your, and your colleagues on February 23rd at 3 p.m. to share your experiences and to talk about possible solutions. The second thing I'd like to talk about is workforce development. This week, I just, this today in fact, I welcomed our second cohort of machining micro-credential students from the Department of, Cor of Corrections in Concord. I'm very thankful that we are offering a second chance to these students. They're excited to be here, told them that they belong here, and we're working to see what we can do to get them jobs after they, after they complete their credential. Special thanks to Allison Mollica and, of course, all the faculty involved with the BTC and our academic affairs uh, for collaborating together to work on getting this um, program together for these students. Third pillar, institutional effectiveness and sustainability. Want to make sure that you know about our blogs. We have a really nice, new, robust series of blogs. The blogs are housed at our website under News. You just go to the home page, scroll down, you can see News, and you can see all of the all of the blogs there. Our newest blogs are projects-based learning, real-world experiences, engage students, and provide resume-worthy outcomes. Take a look, read it. And our second one is Changing Pedagogy, How Brewing Beer Altered One Chemistry Professor's Methods. And I'm assuming that's from Tracy Lesser. Uh, so please go ahead and check those blogs out. If you have an idea for a blog, please contact Amber. Amber um, is looking for exciting new blogs about our departments, our, our services. So please contact her if you have some ideas and we can get your blog on our site as well. This is a reminder that the Job Classification Compensation Study Questionnaire, it will be emailed to staff on Monday. So staff, keep a lookout on your email for the survey to be completed within two weeks. There will be training for your supervisors. You can ask them questions. You can say, what does this mean? Or, you know, where, where do I add that this certain thing about my job? You have lots of opportunities to have your questions answered. It's critical that you complete this survey. So just keep that in mind. You have two weeks from Monday. Um, and the last thing, our last pillar, of course, is diversity, equity, and inclusion. Our next program is Ain't I a Woman? Uh, that, of course, is from the wonderful uh, Sojourner Truth, who was an ex-slave and abolitionist. I also taught her when I was a faculty member. I love that poem, and there's going to be showings of the poem, and um, I think there's going to be a few artists that are also brought up here, February 23rd from 1 to 3, February 24th from 6.30 to 8.30, and February 26th to 4 to 6. So please go ahead and check that out next week. And the final thing is that I have to have a reminder with everyone, we have to do social distancing. It's not happening at the campus. There's lots of instances where social distancing is not happening. Masks are like below the nose. Um, I know that it's been a long, long time now that we've been doing this and people have fatigue, but you have to maintain those safety mitigation strategies of social distancing and, of course, this, the, the, um, the masks. The other thing is that we have spent a lot of time in looking at room capacity. Please do not drag in new chairs in the room or change the configuration of rooms. Um, everything has been measured for capacity and safety, so please make sure that you are keeping the room set up the way that it is because it's the safety um, design for that room. And um, don't congregate. I know that we all want to congregate because we want to see each other, but please, please, be careful with social, with social distancing. Uh, read all the notices. They're long. I've asked uh, Jay to highlight the new portions of it with yellow so we can just head to the new, the new sections easily. 
and um, be safe. Have a lovely weekend.